Hey everyone, welcome to this new video and in this video we will be editing a wildlife photo. I did episode 1 some time ago, if you want to check that out I will leave that link in the description of the video. And if you want to learn more about wildlife photo editing I have courses on this topic which will be great if you really want to learn a lot about wildlife photo editing with detailed explanation and really slow and steady for everything. So let's get into this video and edit this wildlife photo. All right, into Photoshop. I have this portrait of a tiger and I wanna do some quick adjustments to them. I'm not gonna change the background and all that stuff. I just wanna do simple adjustments to the highlights. And if we edit the highlights, we can really make this image kind of pop from the original one. So we want to change that a bit. So let's first define where our light will be. I want to have some light here. So I'm gonna quickly create a new layer and take a black brush, sorry, take a orange brush. You can see here the color is orange. Let me put this here. Just gonna make this orange so I can see this better. And let's increase the size here. And let's just make a dot like that. And then I will move it to there. And if I make this bigger, I can put this in the corner. So this will be our light and once we have a light we can define where our highlights will be. So let's create a new layer first and I'm just going to use a normal brush here. And let's change the hardness here to 100 so I can see this better and make the brush smaller. So now we can define where will the highlights be from this light. So our light is coming from this side. So we need to define where our light will be. Let's make this a bit smaller. So I'm just gonna draw like these lines here. So these are the areas that will have some highlights. Let's also do it there and there. And also probably so this part. And I wanna make sure every part that I draw, I'm gonna close. So I'm drawing these parts and I'm making sure they are closed, right? So like this kind of blocks that we're creating. Let's do there. Also doing there. So I wanna make sure I close this, right? So we have this block here. Let's do a block here. This will also be our highlights there. And also this side here, right? So you can see I'm just making these kind of shapes now, and which will later will be our highlighted areas. Like that. And probably also a bit there. Let's also do there, there and there and maybe also a bit here not in the shadow part but only these parts that are lighter and let's also do there maybe slightly there and maybe also a bit there all right so you can see how quickly i just draw these kind of blocked shapes and in these block shapes we will create some light so let's also do a block here all right so this is just the basic idea now, if we create a new layer, oh, let's first use the magic wand tool and hold down shift to select all these areas, like there, there, there. So just the inner part, not the line itself. You can see I didn't close this one, so I need to draw this again. But let me first select these other ones, there, there, there. Right, so if I create a new solid color here, I can fill those areas. Right, so let's also do this one. Let me go back here. Let's close this one here. And then just hold on shift and make sure we add this one to the selection. Right, so let me disable this for now. So these will be the highlighted areas. And now let's make sure we change the blend mode here to soft light. And now if I open up the properties here, let's go to properties. Let me put this here. I can increase the feather here to make this soft, right? So I wanna make this soft first, like that. Let's close this. And now if I double click on this, I can open up this one. And if I move this slider, I can adjust this. Now let's click okay. And here I wanna change the color a bit because it's way too, too orangey now. I just wanna have it more whitish, like that. And let's drop the opacity. Let me zoom in here a bit. Let's do this a bit better, a bit less, like that. And now you can see I already created these kind of cool highlights. Sometimes you want to adjust the color a bit. You can see here it gets a bit kind of orangey. 
we can also take the black brush here and just brush this away. So now if we select the black brush, we can brush these parts away that are too much. We don't want it too much. We just want it on some parts. Maybe also not the eye there, just these areas there. And now you can play around with the opacity here and maybe even oh, change the color a bit to white, to orange, whatever your light source is. So if your light source is a different color, you should change these colors. But let me first do like whitish. I'm gonna keep it white. Maybe increase that one. And you can see here, some places I need to brush again. So I'm just gonna take the brush and brush this away. So not there. Those areas should be dark because we have some shadows here, right? So just like that. And also this light, I'm gonna change the color a bit. So I'm gonna press Ctrl U and then change the light color here to more whitish kind of color like that. And now let's compare the before. We had this and now we created this nice highlights. Oh, let me put this here. You can see the difference before and after we created these nice highlights. Now, if you want to make it even darker, we can add a curves here. Let me drop these curves down like that. And also the midtones a bit. And now if I take a black brush, oh, let's make sure we have the hardness at zero. If I take a black brush, I can make this even more creative like that. Just like that. And also a bit there, there. So let's compare this. I'm gonna put this in folders. If I select all these layers while holding down Shift, pressing Ctrl G, this was before, and this is after we created some really cool highlights. You can eventually even duplicate this layer if you wanna go crazy with this. Just make sure you correct some stuff if it looks weird, but you'll get the point. So that's the quick and easy tutorial on how to create these pretty cool highlights. If you want to learn more, make sure to check out my wildlife photo editing course. Until then, catch you on the next one.